Okay, now continue. Check the length. It's almost about the length that I need it to be. Probably in like maybe three or four more stitches will be about right. And I probably have maybe about just gonna estimate maybe about a hundred stitches. Maybe a little bit over. Now most crocheting projects will start with a basic chain like this. Because it will shorten up a little bit when you get ready to do the next row. So it's better to be safe than sorry. Okay. I think that's good. And now, to start the second row, you see how I was originally crocheting in this direction from right to left? Because I'm right handed. Well, I'm still going to be going right to left now, but what I'm going to do is turn. This. So that now the end that was getting longer is going to be facing left. And now this end is going to be like this. Now to start the second row, what you do is you find the first the first loop and you pull it through 
this part's always a little tricky. But you pull it through, and then once you got it through, it should look something like this. And then you take your yarn and you pull it through both loops. And then you keep going like so. Like I said, it should look something like this. And then you keep pulling it through both both loops. I said it's kind of rough going at first, and sometimes you're bound to mess up. Like I think I just did. I don't think the loop that I had was the right one. Sorry. Sometimes that happens. Okay. I think I got it right. Let's see. Just look like that. And then, as I said, you'll pull it through both loops. And then you keep going, you find the next one. You'll keep pulling it through each loop. And you will do that for each row, your third row, your third row, your fourth row, so on and so forth. to be very relaxing sometimes. And the second row can always sometimes be a bit slow going too. Because it's the trickiest. But once you get the second row started and then it's it's not too difficult afterwards to get the third and the fourth going in. And it should, and as you get going, it should look something like this as, as you're continuing on. It doesn't look like much now. Yes, as you get going, you should have, as your rows progress, you should have something that starts looking like this one. It's starting to look a bit more blanket-like. Like, I'm not sure how many rows this is, but this is quite a few. But yes, it should start looking a bit more blanket-like. And... I will continue working on this. And I if you guys want I can do another video to show the progression of this. Cuz I'm sure that you don't